Hello, I'm Quinn Murphy, and I got next. You next up and you ain't been on sports like talk like what are you doing? <laughs> hey, you better hit him up. Look, you breaking next and you up next. Keep the coins go hard. Rise the star on the big scene, make them know who you are. You don't break a sweat, don't set up for less. They put you through that test. Your resume that flex. Who got next? Who got next? SLT, ready say go. Who got next? Who got next? Living my dreams and all your goals. Who got next? Who got next? You can ask B Jones or head coach. Who got next? Who got next? SLT Nation, welcome back to another fire episode of Sports Life Talks. You got next a platform that gives exposure to the voices of tomorrow. We are searching high and low. We are finding rising stars who are doing big things and accomplishing big dreams. And I don't know, Kevin, we need a special alert today because that's right. You don't forget your first. And today we got our first ever QB to join the Sports Life Talk family. This kid is a absolute phenom, a future phenom. Um, without any doubt in our mind, standing at 6'2", 180 pounds, class of 2026, a number one QB in Texas per the QB hit list. This kid is a phenom, ladies and gentlemen, out of Regents High in Austin, Texas. Let's show some love for Quinn Murphy. How you doing, Q? Good. How about yourself? Man, we doing good. We super excited. You you rocking with us, man. You, you how does that feel being the first quarterback to touch our platform? Feels pretty good. Yeah, I'm excited. All right, well, let's go to work. Let's go to work. Yo, a Regents, Austin, Texas. If this is your first time watching the show, where you been, Ken Folk? We've been here rocking and rolling, and now we got you. We're going to do some amazing things. I am your host, the mouth of the South B. Jones. All things, everything's Louisiana. Mr. Yeet is in the building, and I'm rocking alongside my brother from another mother, a partner in crime, the head coach, the architect, the quiet storm. KT, how you doing, bro? I'm doing good, B. Jones. How are you, man? I never asked you that when you asked me that. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing all right, but don't nobody care how I'm doing because they, they already know how I'm doing, man. They already <laughs> know true. I'm ready. I'm 10 toes down. I'm, I'm locked in stock and ready to rock, man. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, we'll check this out, Regents. Hey, I heard y'all doing some amazing things at that high school, so shout out to y'all. If this is y'all first time watching the platform, welcome to the show. We appreciate it. We know there's a million other podcasts out there, so for y'all to choose us, it means a lot. And check this out. We want you to stick around and help us to continue this amazing momentum of 2023. This is our third season, and this is takeover season, y'all, and we can't do it without you. Show us how loud and proud and dope Regis High is. Here we go, Austin, Texas, on the count of three band with us join arms and we gonna smash that subscribe button kill your people gonna rock with us yes sir they better all right here we go here we go one two three Boom! welcome to the sports life talk family katie and i we don't do fans we don't do followers we do family members around here, so I'm officially now your play cousin, your big cousin, if you smash that subscribe button. Kevin, that's my favorite part of the show, just seeing how much love people give us, man. That's that's dope. Make me feel good about myself. And now, we want to tell y'all and put y'all on an amazing young man. You didn't come here to, to see me smile and holler in this microphone. You came here to find out what's cooking down there in Austin, Texas with this class of 26 QB that everybody talking about. Q, you ready for the Sports Life Talk initiation, man? Let's go. Let's go! All right, to initiate you into the SLT family, you give us your top five music artists. I'll go Lil Baby, Polo G, Kane Brown, Luke Combs, and J. Cole. <laughs> well, hey, you that was a country. Yeah. Hey, it was, it was pretty solid, though. I like it. I, I love the J. Cole one. I love the J. Cole. I'm, I'm trying to live. What, what Polo G you listening to, Q? 
Uh, I like some Martin and Gina. I used to listen to that before games. <laughs> All right. Okay. What you giving All them, right. KT? All right, Q. We like to rank everybody's top five, and the highest you can get is five. You're 6'2", 180. You are our first quarterback, so there is no way I'm giving you th anything less than five. B. Jones, I don't think I can give him anything less than seven. Let's give him eight. We'll give him eight. All right, so who is your favorite superhero and why? I'll go Black Panther. Um, I really liked him. The movies are, they're always entertaining. I just thought it was a solid movie. The first one was better than the second one, though. It was. Oh, no, I agree. Yeah, I agree. It was way better than the oh, yeah, That's a good one. Oh, that's right, a little yeah. bit. You, 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 you exaggerated yeah, a little bit. It was way better. It was, no, it, was, no, it was way better. But this is not about no, you. No, wasn't in part one. I'm just saying. Yeah, she was in part one. What are you talking about? What, what did, oh, we'll talk about that later. Yeah, she was all in the movie. Okay, so <laughs> you threw me off. All right, T'Challa. Since every good superhero needs their own theme music, what would your theme song be? Uh, with all the hype going around it, I'll go uh, Low Down by Lil Baby. I swear you about like the eighth person to come on and say that song. So, BJ, well, you gotta really talk to It's been, yeah, it's been pretty popular, so I might as well just say that. All right. All right, so what is something that football has taught you that you can use when you're not on the field? Um, Just the, like the ability to be able to read and react, especially as a quarterback. I mean, you're going to have to read and react to a bunch of things on the field and just like in life not everything's going to be like planned so you're going to have to like read and react like in life too not just in football all right so if you can shadow anyone for a week and learn from them they could be either dead or alive who would it be and why i have to go with tim tebow because he was like a really good example especially someone's like strong faith in the nfl like i like to know like what it was like before I did that, I thought he was a really good example. Do you know what college school he went to? Do you mind bringing it up for me, Q? What school did he go to? High school? No, the college. What, what college did he go no, to? He went to Florida. B. Jones, you yeah, he went to Florida. So, Q, I yeah, need every, to Everybody knew where Tim Tebow went, Kevin. Yeah, but everybody I just wanted him to bring up Florida and not me. That's the school I rock with, B. Jones. B. Jones, stay out of my business. All right. How do you manage your time between school, practice, and games? Um, well, school, I just try to get all my work done in class. You know, if I got a study hall or like an extra period, I'll just try to really knock on my work there. But then in between school and practice, in between practice and games, I mean, I got some time in between there, but it really seemed like too much because I don't really view football as like a job. It's really just like some fun I love doing. So it's not too bad. All right. So we know you're good at football. So what's a sport that you never tried, but you you know you will be good at? I'm probably going to try tennis next year because I, I was pretty good at ping pong since I was little, so I might try that. <laughs> Boy, the ping pong and tennis, that's a different monster, though. All right, so uh, Q, no, 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 I, that tennis is popping right now, KT. Yeah, but I'm talking to him when I'm talking to you, man. Why you keep jumping in my initiation? Oh, my goodness. I'm totally joking, B. I'm totally joking. All right, but B and I, Q, we plan on coming to your game. I know Austin's like four hours away, but we plan on coming. So when Sweet. we do make it down there, what is a restaurant that you would recommend? Ooh. I have to go Kirby Lane Cafe. It's about 15 minutes from my school. Um, we go, like, Friday morning with a few guys out of season and – in season, after like a big game, like Saturday morning, we'll all get up and go together after recovery. It's really good. I like it a lot. Is it kind of like a breakfast there? spot? Yeah. Yeah, kind of yeah it's a breakfast spot. All right. It's good. Right. So what's the best piece of advice you would give someone who is trying to follow in your footsteps? Um, I'll just say, I'll always just say the path and don't really, don't really let anything or anyone tell you like you can't. Because if you believe and you like, Put your head down and like keep on working. Like no one's gonna be able to stop you or tell you what to do. So just kind of tune out the noise and just keep on working. All right. So let's just take football out of the equation. What does a typical day look like for you without football? So right now, I guess you could say it's it's in the off season. So I wake up, I go to school, and then I make sure to get a good workout in right after school. 
we got a nice gym at our school. And then after that, I'll uh, come home, maybe get some rest if I need to, um, have a protein shake for sure. And then if I have any homework left over from the stuff I didn't get done during school, I'll finish up some extra homework. All right, so after you watch it, not this is not for you, this is for everybody that's watching, Q. After you watch this show, please go to our website, sltugotnext.com, and there you can learn more about B. Jones and myself, as well as all the family members that we had on this show. Speaking of family, the most important thing in life will always be family. We really mean that, so allow me to reintroduce our new Quinn Murphy to the show. So, B. Jones, go ahead and take it away, man. Well, welcome to the family, young man. We super excited about having you on, man. Like I said, this is our this is our first QB one, and so we get to talk to one of the, in my opinion, the most important position on the football field. Right? I mean, it, it, every everything, every offensive play goes through the quarterback, and this uh, we talking about the face of most franchises at, at every level. So, so Q, let's start and let's talk a little bit about your come your upbringing. Let's let's when when did you fall in love with the game of football? So I actually didn't play football. I was, I was from California, and I didn't play football there. We moved here when I was around six years old. Um, and, you know, I'd always play flag and seven-on-seven seven with older teams. Uh, and I just really loved it from, like, a young age. So ever since then, I mean, I just kept with it, and I've loved it ever since. So Q. Q. Why quarterback, man? It's a lot of other positions out there on the field. You chose the most arduous task to tackle, man. One that gets the most attention. People going to criticize you. They're going to they gonna nitpick on your footwork. They're going to nitpick on your arm speed. They, every single thing about a QB's game, even if you don't answer the questions right on this interview, they're going to come and say, <laughs> we question his leadership abilities. So, man, why would you pick the quarterback position? Man, I really... I just love playing quarterback. Like, it's just fun being able to be like the one person that like the team relies on. I mean, you got to lead the whole team. So, I mean, it's no like little expectation, but ever since I've started doing it, I've always loved it. Now, when, when was the first time you, you started playing quarterback? Have, have you been like a QB one since you was like in pop one or something? Or did you just recently start playing quarterback? Or oh, I'm starting to get that, that quarterback flow under you, underneath your belt. Uh, I didn't play my first year. I think it was like receiver or something, but I was like seven years old. And then after that, I tried out quarterback. And then we, we had a seven on seven team. We went to state a few years in a row for seven on seven. And then I just kept with it ever since. All right. So this is the fun part, Q. Call out your favorite play, man. Call, tell us what, what that call is. You in the huddle. Tell us what your favorite play is. I want to I hear how long this play call is going to be and what it sounds like. So I'll just give the play. Um, it's just called Cali. Um, it's a 15 yard out by the single receiver, a 10 yard in by the number two receiver on the other side, and then a post by the number one receiver. Um, it's a corner safety read. If I see the corner backs off, I'm throwing the 15 back to 12 yard comeback. It's a great play. It's worked for us all last year. And then if the safety stays on that 15 yard out, then I'm coming back to the 10 yard in. Um, there should be a big hole right there. I just got to peek the outside linebacker. Now, what, what's your audible? What's your audible cue? What's your audible word? Omaha? You say Omaha? What do you say? Nebraska? <laughs> uh, Omaha was our like spike count, so uh, we didn't really have one last year, but we're we're definitely gonna put one in this year. Now, you 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 a freshman? You were a newcomer on the team. Uh, now, was there another quarterback in front of you, or, 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 what, what, or will you be backing up, or will you get the opportunity to start on varsity this year? Uh, so I started last year um, as a freshman, but yeah, there was definitely some competition between two other guys, but yeah, we've always got along, and there was no hate between us, so that was, re that was really good, that was really important. I'm glad to hear that, man. I don't know why people think competition breeds animosity. No, competition is two people pushing themselves, pushing each other to be to be their absolute best, man. So now, when you as as a as a 14 year old kid, you in this huddle, you you around these big offensive linemen, these giants. 
What's going through your head, man, especially when you look around this field? I mean, the game is moving a million miles per hour. You, you just, Kevin, he just talked like he was like he was over there working with Peyton Manning or somebody. He's talking about, yeah, dude, just calling a soft safety. I'm reading this, reading that. Man, what's going on through your mind when all of this is happening, Q? Um, I just want to stay focused. I mean, just stay dialed in in the game, trying to get my mind lost. But, you know, I just try to act like, I'm a senior, like I've been there, done that. That way I can stay focused and not, you know, always have that, oh, I'm a freshman. So, like, if I make this mistake or that mistake, like, I still got time. Like, coaches, they really don't care if I'm a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior. I just got to, like, provide for my team. So that's what I try to stay focused on. Now, 6 to one eleven. That's all. You still got some more growing to do, too, man. Uh, you know, do you have tall parents or – I mean, yeah, so my mom, excuse me, I said 111. If you was 111, you ain't got no business out there on that football field. Yeah, that was, that was not very good. 2180. <laughs> you a big kid already at the age of 14, Q. Yeah, uh, my mom is about six foot. My dad's a little over six two. Um, my brother's six five, okay. so I should be getting up there soon. Dang! <laughs> Man, just imagine if you finish like in that six four six five range. That is going to be absolute crazy, man. So if we, we were creating Q, Quinn Murphy, if we were creating your Madden character, man, what, give, us, give us a little insight on your game. What would your strengths be? How would you describe your own ball game? So my strengths would definitely be pocket presence and accuracy. Um, those those would definitely be up there. That's. Those are definitely my my strong suits and reading the field yeah. like smarts. The stuff that's gonna get you that division one scholarship, right? The stuff that's gonna that's gonna make you a Super Bowl quarterback. Here. The, the most important features of a quarterback, man. Now, now, what do your friends call you? We 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 just gave you the nickname Q. So I'm I'm sorry, Miss Murphy. I'm sorry. We just nicknamed nicknamed your boy, man. What what is your nickname on, on, with your family and your friends? I get Q a lot. Really, anything Q Quinn, but yeah, Quinn's. Q's a pretty common one. What the girls call you? What the, what the, you ain't got to answer that, man. Your mama watching this. Look, I just wanted to make, <laughs> I just wanted, I just wanted to make them blush, KT. I wanted to see if I can, if I can sneak one in on you. Now, Q, you a freshman and you're getting a lot of national attention, young man. Like, has, has that hit home with you already that power five schools are, are starting to offer you and they calling you home or, 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 or are they at least showing you that type of attention to let you know that this thing is about to get bananas where you get 15, 16, 17, eight, you know what I'm saying? As the, uh, the longer you get in this thing, it's going to get crazier and crazier. So how, how does that make you feel, you know, already being a freshman and getting so much national attention? Yeah, so, I mean, I can't really control the attention I get. Um, the more I get, then, I mean, that's great. But the most important thing is just you know, keep level headed because I mean, at some point in whole football things get and in life. So I try to stay level headed. Don't try to get it by myself and I should be pretty good. And you sound like a very level headed kid, man. Now you said you had an older brother. What, what, how old is he? He's 18. He's going to college next year. Okay. Okay, so you 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 used to get beat, you used to getting beat up around the house. I can tell. You know, you got eight eight six five. So you know he yeah. baby brother you all the time, man. So uh, so now how w- how would your friends and family describe you? Because you sound like you're very cerebral. You sound super mature for your age. I mean, how, how do your friend your family and friends describe you in the locker room on the at the dinner table in the classroom? Um, I mean, in terms of football. I always try to be the first one on the field, the last one off. Try to be the best example to my teammates because as a quarterback, you're going to have to be the leader of the team. Like They're going to have to rely on you. You're going to have to rely on them. So, I mean, I just try to be the best leader I can for them. And, you know, especially try to take care of my O-line last year, every Thursday. We got Cabo Bob's at my house. Treat them pretty well so that they block for me. What, 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 what do we have at your house now? What? Cabo Bob's, it's a restaurant down the street. It's really good. All right. Well, I sound like we need to be there on Thursday then, huh, KT? Because it sounds like they eat. There's some good eating over there at the Murphy household on Thursday, man. Yes, sir. All right. Is. So, Q, you're going out here to these, these national combines, and you're competing against not just 26 kids, but 24, 25 
I mean, these, this is the big stage when rivals and, and, and then you're wearing this Elite 11. Like, for those of you at home that don't understand the Elite 11, I can list off a litany of quarterbacks. Andrew Young, Vince Young, uh, uh, Andrew Luck, excuse me, Vince Young, Tim Tebow. I mean, the list of quarterbacks go I mean, just about any four or five star quarterback over the last 15 to 20 years have been through the Elite 11 to camp, okay? So for you to be 14 years old to get the opportunity to compete in the regional settings or the national settings, like, this is like madness, man. So, like, do you get nervous going into these major events? No, I mean, I just try to have fun because if I just try to have fun and all that other stuff, like, I don't get tense, I don't get nervous. Um, I play my best that way, so. You know, same things, same things in the game, too. I don't, I don't get nervous for, like, big games. I just try to always think about having fun because if I'm having fun, I'm at my best. So that's what I just try to focus on. All right. Well, this show is not about recruiting. So we, we, we still want to talk about the young man's dreams. We He has a vision. He's been a kid. And he, he always dreamed of snapping the ball for somebody. You got UT right down the street from you. You got Florida. You talked about Tim Tebow. You, you already got an offer from Louisville, which people don't know Louisville is about to be back. They got their head coach back. So I'm just saying, man, where, where do you where, like what's a dream school? What's somewhere that you've always wanted to play for, man? What, what are some of the top three universities you want to visit when your recruitment opens? opens up um ever since i was little my dad's always been a big fan of notre dame but ever since i've been through this recruiting process like i just try to throw all that stuff away really because i want to like go and get into a coaching staff get into a system that they really want me and i just feel like it's best for me and i just feel like i'll give them the best chance if they give me the best chance so that's what i'm trying to focus on right now all right. Well, you talked about the the uh, the getting your homework done in school, and um, you talk. You, you seem like you're a very good citizen of schoolwork and, and and all of that stuff. The leadership, four point oh five GPA. Now I'm from Louisiana, Q. We we I mean we stopped at a four point oh man. What's up? How, where you get the point oh five from, bro? <laughs> Would you turn in the so, book report? Uh, my school is like a heavily academic school, so there's. Almost every class we take is AP, and then on top of that, there's honors classes. So, like, for example, if you got all 100s in the APs and honors classes, you can add up to, like, a 4.3. So, I got 100, let's just say 100 in the class, that's AP, then that will result in, like, an over 4.0 GPA, like, a 4.05. Man, man, that is absolutely crazy. What, what you want to be, what do you, what do you want to major in? What do you want to be when you... uh? When you when your football day is over, um, I'll just say business for now because that's the the thing that my my dad does and that my brother is in a major in. So just like behind my family, they're gonna have some experience, and I'll just be able to lean on them to ask them for advice and stuff. So yeah, I'll definitely look into business and finance. Now, you're the number one QB in the state of Texas for the class of 26 based off the uh, the QB hit list. That's a crazy ranking, man. But people don't really pay attention to the private schools as much as they should. In my opinion, this is this is the mouth of the South talking now. OK, and we've had the privilege of talking to like Dallas Christian athletes. We had a school down in Houston that uh, that's a private school. Um Man, what, what, do you think do you think the private schools get the type of attention, the type of recognition that they deserve? Um, I really don't try to focus on that stuff. I mean, I can I can control what I can control. People can like say what they want, but we got dudes, we got three, four stars in there. I mean, I don't control who I play. I don't control what people say. So, I mean, I try to stay focused on what I can control, and that's what I can control. So, it is what it is. This kid is a tough cookie, man. Where the PR person at? Who who running PR back there teaching you how to answer these questions? Stay, staying politically, staying on board. All right, Q. All right, I'm, I'm gonna let I'm gonna let you have that one, man. All right, but I know. I, I, let's see how political you are with this one, Q. I know somebody, somebody gets your your, your gears grinded. I know somebody, you know, get, gets you excited. You want to play? Who who you got circled on that schedule? What's get, what's one game that me and the head coach here we need to come down and check y'all play out? Uh, it's actually an away game. We play Houston St. Thomas uh, down in Houston. They're they're in the division above us, Division One. They're they're a great school. They got a bunch of really good athletes. They got a four star running back. Um, it should be a really good game. I mean, I'm ready for it. The, the bigger the game, 
the better I play. So I'm really looking forward to it. And so when we find out if you're going to get that QB1 role, when, when we find out, is it, is it going to be determined in spring or you got to you gotta go in a, a, a summer camp in August and, and battle it out there as well? Uh, it'll be out summer, probably summer, spring, after spring ball. All right. Well, this is the good part about it, Q. You're a class of 26. We got a couple more years. We get to follow your story, man. You're going to come back and we're going we gonna to catch up with you after your, after your sophomore year. All right. You're you going to come back and rock with us? Yeah, for sure. All right, were well, you ready to have a little fun? You ready, you ready to have a little fun with the show? All right, let's go. All right, let's go. All right, Quinn Murphy, welcome to the championship rounds. This is the part of the show, KT and I. We go one-on-one. We compete a little bit, just like you will in the fall, and you are now officially calling all of the shots, all right? Have you ever played a game called Would You Rather before? I have. It's a fun one. Quinn, so the rules are very simple, man. Both of us going to make a pitch. You select one of those pitches. Whoever you select, that host gains a point. The first host to get two points or the best out of three will win this episode's game of championship rounds. And I am on an eight-game win streak. It's almost history in the making. I just, I've just i got the sneakers. I got the juice. And I got great, got great guests like yourself rocking with me. So, all right. Here we go, Q. Round number one. Would you rather... B, a role player on a national championship caliber team or become an All-American and a player of the year candidate on an up-and-coming team? Um, I would say the second one because I would be able to get some guys and my, my leadership on the team will be able to be able to be and be better than the team at the first one. And if I was a role player on the first thing, I wouldn't be able to do that. All right. Okay. You want to be the man. Okay. All right. Let's go. Yeah. All right. So round number two, would you rather host your own food show on the Food Network? I'm going to sauce it up a little bit, B. Jones, live on 6th Street, where you interview athletes and celebrities while eating at their favorite places to eat at their hometowns. Or... Would you rather have a Netflix-style documentary follow you through the rest of your high school career around regions, follow your games, your personal life, all of that good stuff? Also, the first one, I would want to, you know, being able to interview other athletes, especially, you know, in my hometown, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you broke my street. <laughs> Thank you so much, dude. Oh, I'm trying to hold all this excitement in. He the one nine straight. I wouldn't be able to live. No, it would have been yeah. nine. It would have been no, nine. No, I, I said, won eight. You, if, I said, if you would have won nine. All right. So for round three on our show, which you can watch Wednesdays right here on our YouTube channel, B. Jones has a segment called The Drop. And on The Drop, B. Jones presents shoes that he feels are worthy of your financial donations. So Q, for this round... We're both going to present to you a shoe. Whichever one you pick, that host gets the point. So all we need for you to do, I'm going to count something. Like one, two, three. I need for you to say, hold that sneaker. Are you ready? Yep. All right. One, two, three. Hold that sneaker. Ooh. I'm going to go with the Jordan 4s. These right here? Yeah, no, the 11, the 11, the left. Oh, Those. these are the rookie of the years, man. You were the rookie of the year. Cue my music, B. Joe. I ain't heard it in a long time. <laughs> and new champion. Oh, Q, it's been, oh, it's, it's been so long since I feel this. Goodness. B. Jones, I forgot how it felt, man. Is this how it feels to win? I haven't felt this feeling in like nine episodes. Don't worry. Regents, Austin, Texas, y'all watch the next episode. I will get the belt back. I will be bringing it back to the mouth of the South. You hear me? Uh, who oh cares? Goodness. I got it right now. Look at it. Q, how did I not know you didn't have taste in sneakers, sneakers man? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just messing with you, nephew. I'm just messing with you, man. All right. What's up, K? What'd you say, KT? 
I mean, I feel so much. You do what you want to, B. Jones. You can just run the rest of the show. I'm good. I won this episode. I'm let's great. Go. Yeah, let's do that. All right, Q. When well, the title of the show is You Got Next, man. Sports Life Talks, You Got Next. So everybody rocking with you. You got a way to go, man. Let's, what, what, is the, what is the future hold for yourself, Q? What, what do you, where do you envision this thing going? I mean, I'm just going to look at it one year at a time. So sophomore, junior, senior year. Hopefully those are all great years. Um, Hopefully some more great seasons, some more 10 and 0 seasons. And then uh, hopefully I'll be grateful enough and good enough to be able to play at the college and then even the pro level. I mean, that, that'd be the dream. Man, you said uh, 10 and 0. Y'all went, the region Knights went 10 and 0 last year? We did. We went 10 and 0 in the regular season. What? Okay. All right. So y'all tough. Y'all tough. Y'all playing the games up here in Dallas? We, we'll play some in the playoffs probably. But not in the regular season, no. Okay, okay. Well, we we gonna come to the regular season game. What was that team we need to go come check out again? The Houston one that y'all. It'll, it'll be it'll be in Houston. So nah, that ain't number three and a half hours. We out of Dallas Fort Worth, so we can we can make it down I forty five and come check you out, man. All right, well, Q. One day, you, you know, the sun is gonna set, and you you gotta leave. You gotta leave Regents and. You know, you're going to take your talent to LSU and go go be QB1 over there. But uh, but before you do so, <laughs> you heard that, Q? You, you heard I just put you out of school, man. Uh, but before you do, uh, tell us, man, what, 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 what do you want your legacy to be when, when, you, when, you, when you leave Regents High? What do you, how do you want to be remembered around that school and how do you want to be remembered around the city of Austin? Um, you know, the, the sport of football is great, but, you know, as a human – I said this before, but the sport's only going to last so long. So I'd like to be remembered as someone who was good in the classroom and was like a good mentor, a good leader to others. And then on top of that, a great football player. All right. So do you have any shout outs you want to give? I shout out my head coach, my offensive coordinator, uh, my dad, and then all the, all those, the people that have been supporting me along the way. All right, so this is a part of the show where you get a chance to call the person that you think should have next. Tell them, hey, I got a chance to rock with B. Jones and KT. I told them my story. I want y'all to do the same thing. With that said, Q, who are you calling out? Who should have next? Uh, I got Jacob Wilburn. He's a linebacker at our school. He's a pretty good athlete. Uh, he got his first offer a few months ago, so I think he'd fit this role pretty well. What, um, what, what, uh, what classification is Jacob? He's a 24. Okay. All right. So this is senior year. So Jacob, this is his last ride. Yeah, we would yeah. love to talk to Jacob. So Jacob, congratulations, man. Your ticket just got punched. You have earned a spot to join us on this show and tell everybody about your story and who you are as a man on and off the field. We look forward to reaching out to you. We're going we to be in co contact with you very soon. But Q, Quinn Murphy, man, you the truth, dog. You a rise a star. You tough. I love I love your your articulation, your acumen, your leadership, man. You are you a pioneer. You a trailblazer already. A future phenom. And uh, we we have got big expectations for you. We are gonna be following your story all the way through. You are extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet because Quinn Murphy, you got next. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Back at it again. How y'all feeling out there, man? I thank y'all so much for rocking with us. We appreciate y'all for sticking around for the whole show. If you did stick around, don't forget to like, smash that subscribe button, Sports Life Talk, at Sports Life Talk everywhere, YouTube, I, Twitter. Y'all follow us, man. Show us some love. We got to move the culture and we move it with focus. And uh, we're going to keep doing big things. I promise y'all, the energy won't stop. The, the, the guests are getting amazing. I'm, I'm just telling y'all, this thing is it's blowing up and we can't do it without you. Don't forget, we go live every Wednesday night at 8 o'clock p.m. Central Standard Time. So eat your dinner on Wednesday a little bit early. Come hang out with us. Be in the comments with the rest of the Sports Life Talk family. It's not just a sports show. We talk a little bit about everything. And uh, and the new website, sltugotnext.com, sltugotnext.com. It is a fire website. If you want to just join the Sports Life Talk family, you got to go through the initiation. It is on the website. And so you can tell us your top five, your favorite superhero, all of that good stuff. And if you want to be nominated or if you want to audition for the show or you want to tell us someone who you think deserves to be on the show, go to the nomination. Nominations tab, send us the information, and we are uh, we auditioning. If you true, if you the truth, we will find you. All right. If you got next, 
We gonna find you. We gonna put you on the platform. All right, Coach. I know. I know you. Um, I know you over there smiling like the cat that just ate the canary. You back? You got a dub. You got a dub. I'm still dominating. I take. I take one loss for every eight wins. You know what I'm saying? So I'll let you. I'll let you close this out. So even when you lose, you try to make it about you, man. Why can't you just be humble and defeat like I've been like the last eight episodes? But Q, thank you so much for rocking with us, man. Whatever you need from us, please let us know. And we're going to try to come down on a Thursday, man. That's when the, the free food is there, B, right? The Thursday? Hey, yep. uh, yeah. I, uh, what, was, what was the name of that restaurant again? Cabo Bob's. Cabo yeah, Bob's. We're going to be there because I want to eat whatever that is. I need some of it. But man, whatever you need from us, please let us know. Yes, sir. All right, sing that little little baby song for me. That you, you, you can you sing that song for me, Luke? I mean, uh, for Quinn. I, I don't got the vocals for that. <laughs> I was gonna put you on the spot. I was gonna put you. you, you I know you got the vocals for that, Luke Combs. That's what I was gonna make you sing some Luke Combs at first. But uh, all right, man. What's Sports Life Talk Nation? We love y'all. Stay safe. Be blessed. Respect each other and love one another. Because like my grandma always taught me, we are better together. And keep dreaming big. Because you never know. Your story may be the next one featured on Sports Life Talks. You got next. Yeet! See what's crazy is I knew you had next because you always working, you always grinding, you're in your bag because you're always working. Like in due time, I just I knew you got next. Oh, you did it, huh? Crack the code. You got next, you smashing goals. You want next, you need exposure. Well, sports like talk got the baddest show, like the baddest hut in the room. Podcast to tune into just for you to talk your shit. Talk your mushroom. You are what you eat and you should consume. Sports like talk from the late night to the afternoon, then rest repeat. Hit the like, leave a comment, or subscribe so you don't miss a beat. You got next, it's a small taste of a winning meal from a chef type of celebrity. What's up next is you, at least you better be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sports life talking this.